Throughout history, bridges have been able to connect us to places we cannot easily reach, like islands and distant pieces of land at the other side of a river, or even just across over a huge cliff. They have definitely made life quite convenient for everyone, and they adapt according to the geography of the place where they're at. Some of them are long and wide, while some are a bit narrower and sometimes even steep. And some of them are actually just terrifying. In today's video, I'll be showing you 10 of the most terrifying bridges in the world. They're all over the world, and if you ever come face to face with them, you'll have to decide whether you want to cross to the other side or just stay right where you are. In fact, some of the places where these bridges are located offer alternatives to those who are too scared to cross them. Stay with me all the way to number one and have a look at a bridge that can only be crossed by those who are not scared of heights. Number 10. Monkey Bridges First on this list, I have a type of bridge that you can find in different parts of the countryside of Vietnam around the Mekong River, the Monkey Bridges. Just take a look at the way they're designed and you'll immediately understand where their names came from. They've been built in a way that requires you to cross them as if you were a monkey. Some of them have handrails, but some of them require you to get creative and adopt different postures to get to the other side. While there are now newer versions of the bridge made with concrete, they have usually been made with coconut trees or bamboo. Inexperienced people are advised to stay away from them as they can be quite dangerous for first-timers. However, people who are experienced usually cross them while carrying up to 50 kilos of weight on their shoulders. After all, bridges are supposed to help people bring stuff from one side to the other. I just don't get how they managed to carry all of that in such an uncomfortable scenario. Number 9. Titleless Cliff Walk Next on this list, I have the highest suspension bridge in Europe, the Titleist Cliff Walk. While the people at Titleist Ingelberg Resort keep telling us that it's impossible to fall from their bridge, it is still quite terrifying to walk on it. The bridge hangs at 500 meters off the ground, and it's only about 1 meter wide. You're going to have to walk for 100 meters to get to the other side, which is more than enough to speed up your heartbeats as you walk. However, you're still not going to want to miss an opportunity to check out this place. The Titleist Cliff Walk is located in the middle of glaciers and one of Switzerland's most impressive landscapes. There are lifts on different ends of the bridge to help you get there, and the best of all, you can cross this amazing bridge for absolutely free. If the people at the resort say it's safe, then I guess it is worth checking out. Just don't look down. Number 8. Langkawi Sky Bridge Down in Southeast Asia, you can find the Langkawi Archipelago, which is one of Malaysia's most beautiful places. It has nice pristine beaches and breathtaking mountain views, and it's at the top of one of these mountains where you can find the next bridge on this list, the Langkawi Sky Bridge. This bridge was built back in 2005, and you need to ride on a cable car in order to reach the pink of Mount Mat Chinchang. This is a pedestrian-friendly bridge that offers 360-degree views of the surrounding islands, but what is terrifying about this bridge exactly? Well, it has multiple sections where you walk on glass that allows you to have a look at the ground that is literally 100 meters below you. As someone who's petrified by heights, that's honestly just horrifying. But don't worry, the bridge is actually safe and it even went through some major upgrades back in 2012 to ensure everyone keeps enjoying paradisal views from this spot. Number 7. Eshima Ohashi Bridge The next bridge on this list has a very odd design to it. In fact, a lot of people say that it looks like a roller coaster, and I guess that's more than enough to make any driver get a bit anxious. Unless, of course, you're used to driving over it every day. The Ishima Ohashi Bridge connects Matsu and Sakaminato, which are two cities in Japan. It took seven years to complete, and it is now considered the third largest rigid frame bridge in the world and the largest in all of Japan. While pictures and videos online really make it look like a very steep and scary bridge to drive on, this bridge is actually not all that bad. However, the odd design was necessary so ships could pass underneath without having to stop traffic between the two cities. Number 6. Vine Bridges And here's another bridge that was also made in Japan. In this case, however, it's not just one bridge. There are three of these that are located in the Laia Valley. They were made to cross the river and offer access to a part of the valley where it's said that a lot of criminals and other outcasts came to find refuge from society. The bridges were built more than 800 years ago, but they have been improved and reinforced over time. In fact, they now have to be rebuilt every three years to avoid chaotic incidents. Originally, the vine bridges only had pieces of wood with significant gaps in between each one of them, and these pieces of wood were held by two vines. Now, the bridges have more vines and even some side rails that help visitors stay safe during their journey across the other side. Number 5. Agile Dumidi 
The next bridge on this list is located in Agile de Midi, a high mountain that is part of the Mont Blanc Massif in the amazing French Alps. And I'm pretty sure I just mispronounced every word there because French. The mountain has two structures that are linked by a bridge. Surely the views from this spot are very unique, yet it might overwhelm you to know that you're almost 4,000 meters above the sea level. The peak of the mountain is so high, its name literally translates into Needle of the South. In order to get to this spot, you will actually need to take a cable car from Chamonix, which is a commune in southern France and home to one of the oldest ski resorts in the world. Despite how high it is, getting to the top of Agile de Midi will be a rewarding experience. You'll get some unique sights from their panoramic viewing platform, and there are also a coffee shop and a gift shop to have a little break before you head on back. Number 4. Karaka Rodi Rope Bridge don't let the looks fool you. I know this bridge looks safe from afar, but wait until you see what's underneath. It's only going to take you about 20 meters to cross it, but you'll be stepping 30 meters above some deadly rocks. This bridge helps to connect mainland Bali Castle to the small island of Karakaradi, which means Rock of the Casting. It is indeed quite a rocky place, and when you're there you're going to realize why there is a boat available for those who don't dare to cross it. In fact, it's been known that some people are able to cross it one way, but their experience is so frightening that they offer taking the boat on the way back. While it's not a popular spot amongst tourists, it used to only have one handrail, and a lot of huge gaps in between. The bridge went through a lot of makeovers to become the popular attraction it is today, though. Major improvements were made back in 2008 at the generous price of £16,000. However, back in 2017, it was revealed that some acts of vandalism had caused the rope to be damaged, but it did not take long for authorities to repair it and reassure the safety of upcoming visitors. Number 3. Glass Skywalk China is home to Zhangjiajie National Park, a place you might be familiar with since its impressive rock formations inspired the landscapes of the 2009 sci-fi movie Avatar. Within this forest, you can find the Tianmen Mountain, and in this mountain, you can find the next bridge on our list, the Glass Skywalk. What makes this structure so thrilling is the fact that it is the world's largest glass bottom bridge. While it is safe, your brain might start questioning how long you can walk on it before the glass cracks. Because if such an incident were to happen, that would be an unfortunate 300 meter drop. The 430 meter long bridge was first introduced to the world in 2010 at the Expo 2010 Shanghai by Hain Doten, who is a very prestigious architect from Israel. You would think the glass bottom would make visitors hesitate about walking on it, but that was not the case. Right after its opening in 2016, the bridge had to be closed because the amount of visitors was 10 times more than what they expected. Now, there are more facilities and regulations to make sure every visitor has a pleasant and safe experience. Now it's time for the day's best pick. What does it take for a bridge to become terrifying? Is it the height? Or could it be the way they wobble as you walk through them? Or perhaps the lack of handrails? Maybe a combination of all of those. But the picture I chose today is one of a bridge where cars and pedestrians seem to pass without any issues, even though it seems quite dangerous. Number two, Quan Disky Bridge. This bridge has no guardrails, a very narrow path, and is often hit by ice and snow due to the low temperatures over in Russia. It makes sense that the bridge is now closed to the public, even though it was just built about 30 years ago. But why build a bridge in the first place if it was going to close down that soon? Well, the truth is, the construction of the bridge was never completed. However, there are some people out there, ones who like to defy death and cross the bridge at their own risk, even though the structure has gotten pretty rotten through time. People who drive their cars through would have to open their windows to reduce windage, and cars can only drive one way at a time. The structure is only about as wide as a car in the first place, so that only makes it a one-way bridge. If that was not enough, the mix of old materials and ice make it a very slippery road, but I guess some people like to live their life to the fullest, and this is their way to show the world that they are not afraid of anything, or that they won't be on the world for much longer. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Husseini Hanging Bridge One of the scariest things about hanging bridges is the wobbling sensation you might experience. It either boosts your adrenaline or makes you want to get to the other side ASAP. But the Husseini Hanging Bridge is also scary because of the huge gaps along the bridge. They are so flipping wide that your feet could easily fall through if you don't watch your step. There's a similar bridge right next to it which apparently was destroyed during a monsoon around the year 2011. 
It's probably going to be rebuilt, but in the meantime you have no other choice than using this scary hanging bridge. Although going through this bridge might not be the most pleasant experience of your life, the area surrounding it will definitely make you want to check it out. The bridge connects the Gilgit-Baltistan region with the rest of Pakistan, which is a part of the country with very impressive views. And those are 10 terrifying bridges I wanted to show you today. Which one scared you the most? Would you like to walk on each and every one of them? Or would you prefer to find an alternative to get to the other side? Either way, let us know in the comment section below, and thank you all for watching, because we will see you all next time. Later, everybody!